One of the best-selling books by Peter James, John Sim returned to our screens last night as the brilliant but troubled detective Roy Grace. There was a GBL overdose in Lewis week before last. Welcome to the South Coast. <laughs> Anything suspicious? Not that we could find. Mind you, off the top of my head, I can think of three killers who have used this scene as their hunting ground, and that's just in the last five years. OK, well... Keep me across it. And Roy, the judge on the same case is sending out the jury tomorrow, so fingers crossed. So, Lager Frenzy? I can't tonight. What? What are you doing? You washing your hair? <laughs> How are you, man? What, in myself, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. Yeah, I know that. But, but if I don't... And who will. It's so good to have him back, John, and so good to see you, because we had to wait a whole year, didn't we? Oh, thank you. Yes, you too. I, um, <laughs> we did. It was a strange old um, wait. Yeah. I think they were going to um, put the two episodes out at the same time, right. but, but um, decided to have the second one open this second yeah. season. So it's a bit more substantial now. We've got four eps instead of three. Exactly. So. And we're going to get to know him a lot better. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? Because the books, everybody loves the books, you know, ab about Roy, about Roy Grace. And that's always quite difficult for an actor to come in because lots of people have got a picture in their head of what he's like. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's virtually impossible to please everybody um, because it's in your imagination, isn't sure. it? Yeah, the, the face is in your imagination. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's quite daunting to come in, but it's also really exciting and, yes. you know, there's such great source material, there's so many books, I can disappear into these, this world and really get into his head. And, and it's a slow burn. As you get yes. to know him and the team, you know, it's, it, the relationships develop and you yeah. see more of his, the, a different side to him. And, yeah. No, very much so. Um, interestingly, that he's, he meets his love interest or potential love interest, perhaps. We'll have to wait and see how it pans out. In a morgue, how romantic. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I suppose so if, if she worked for us, so I guess. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. The, the, me and Zoe, uh, who plays Cleo, is like, we're always joking about the fact that they're flirting over corpses. It's, Indeed, uh, yes. A bit strange. <laughs> but, you know, you've got to meet somehow, and they're both very busy. <laughs> Needs must. Yeah. You talked about fans of the books, and, of course, Camilla, the, the Duchess of Cornwall, is a huge fan. So much so she came to visit you guys, didn't she? She came to visit you on set. She did, yeah, yeah. There that, she is, getting quite... really... And that, that's the author, of course. And that's Peter, yeah, 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 in the middle, yeah, yeah. She's a huge fan of the of the novels, and um, yeah, she wanted to see it being filmed, and she was lovely. Oh, that's fantastic! You need to get her a cameo at some stage. <laughs> I think they're working on it. I, yeah. I bet they are. <laughs> I bet they are. For goodness' sake! Now, thank you. I have to say to you for um, getting me through lockdown the second time because I rewatched Life on Mars. Oh. John, what a what an amazing thing to be part of. To look at Luke, two amazing characters, and I'd hear that it sort of might be back, kind of. What, well, what, are you, what do you know? <laughs> tell us. What can I tell you? <laughs> um, there has been talk of it, yeah, coming back. Um, me and Phil talked to Matthew and Ashley, um, the, the two co-creators, sure. and uh, they, they gave us this brilliant idea about um, how it could come back. Um, right. And they, we talked to them about it. I can't obviously tell you what it is. No, and I don't. I don't want you to. No, well, no. I do. Of course I do. <laughs> yeah. But I kind of don't because I want to see it when it comes out. Yes. And yeah, and not know. Yeah. That would be brilliant. If you can make that happen, I would be it would so be so happy. Great, They're yeah. talking maybe it's Project Lazarus, which of course was one of the last things that bit because all the Bowie connection isn't yeah. there. Life on Mars, Ashes to Ashes. Yeah. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers yeah. crossed. As well as that, of course, Doctor Who. Now, when you do Doctor Who, and I know you were brilliant as the, the baddie master, it's not just like another TV show. It's got a complete life outside of that, hasn't it? it With does. the conventions and the fans and all of that. Mm -hmm. And that is something that will always be very much part of, of, of you. Yeah, which is, a, which is a brilliant thing because, you know, it's from kids, tiny, tiny kids, all yeah. the way up to even people my age. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. It's, you get to, you, you, I remember uh, my Doctor Who when I was a kid and, and you know, it's great that I'll be um, in some of those kids' memories. You but will, as, uh, The forever. evil master that took over absolutely, the Absolutely, <laughs> forever and ever. Mine, believe it or not, was Patrick Troughton. Who wow, was yours? Right. Mine was... Um, it should be Tom Baker? It was uh, no. Pertwee into Baker, I remember. Pertwee into was, Baker. It was that period. The golden era. The golden of era. Of that time. Yes. Yeah, yes. and then you were in the golden era of 
this time. Yes. But what an amazing thing to do. Oh, it was fantastic, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Now, you did mention that there are a lot of novels as far as Grace goes. Yeah. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, this is going to run and run. Oh, I hope so. It really is. Isn't it interesting, so. though, how every single one has got dead in the title of the book? Yeah, quite confusing, though. Um, I know. We don't, because if I'm reading... I mean, I'm on uh, book 13 in the series, I think, and right. if I'm filming one, I get so confused. What's, <laughs> and so does Peter. He goes, What's, which one's that one again? And I, you have to tell him the name, and it is quite confusing, yeah. And does he, does he take an awful lot to do with it? We saw him there on set. It's yeah. obviously... You know, it's his baby, it's yeah. his creation. Of course. Um, and he has, like we said, you see, he's done a couple of cameos, hasn't he? Yeah, he's, he's sort in... of done Alfred Hitchcock sort of turning up, yeah. you know, walking through set. Yeah, he did a... Oh, actually, cute. I think he's in the first scene of next week's episode. We need to look he's on the He's on the beach dressed as a Fantastic. police officer, yeah. So we're going to see more of this man and find out more about what makes him tick. Yeah. Um, and obviously romantic tips from the morgue, which is great. Well, it's, <laughs> it gets a little twinkle in his eye and, you know, he's, he's been a bit down and yeah. it's nice to see him so, so of happy. Absolutely. Yeah. John, what a joy to talk to you. Um, obviously, we're going to be watching this Sunday, 8 o'clock on ITV. So, the great thing is, of course, these days is you can go in the hub and just watch it when you want to. Absolutely. Which is fantastic. Thank you so much Lovely for to coming you. in Thank today. You. Right.